A very good afternoon to one and all. Hello, ma'am. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare it for today. I extend my heartiest welcome to our guest, Ms. Nachi M. Parniyappan, data scientist in candlelit therapy, New York. Madam has overall of seven plus years of experience in banking and data science. She has research in human mobility, machine learning, and neural network. Approach for human mobility of crowd flow prediction, a comparative analysis Yelp of Facebook's reviews. Machine learning modeling in predicting the COVID case count using health literacy. She is a finalist in UBS investment banking competition for data science. Proficient in data processing, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, data mining, big data, predictive analytics, big query and decision science, as well as scripting languages, including Python and R. Capable of creating and developing, testing and deploying highly adaptive diverse services to translate business and functional qualifications into substantial deliverables. Understands the underlying science of data and applies the same in diverse set of problem statements in a variety of fields. We are eagerly waiting for your thought provoking words, ma'am. Over to you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the introduction. Hi, everyone. So I am Nachmay Palaniyappan. Uh, I would like to show a simple presentation. So in that presentation, I will show like intro introduce about myself as well. So let me start my presentation. Just let me know whenever you are able to see my screen. Could you able to see my screen? Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Okay. So, okay. So today I'm here to talk about the benefits of a master program. So, okay. So before getting into the benefits of a master program, I would like to introduce myself. So I am Nachmay Palaniyappan and I am working in Candlelit Therapy, New York as a data scientist. And I completed my master's in data science from St. Peter's University, New Jersey. So I complete, before that, I completed my Bachelor of Engineering in 2005. So after that, my first job is I worked for Royal Bank of Scotland as a senior and payments investigation specialist. Then I worked for Amazon as a retail analyst. Uh, then I went to US along with my husband. So I had a long break in my career. I really wanted to restart my career. So that's where I fall into the program of master's program. So that's where I completed the master program this June 2021. So after completing the program, I started working as a data scientist in candlelit therapy. So this is all about me. Okay. So let me go through a benefits of a master program. So why we need to do a master's? Uh, I'm going to tell about a very few key points here. So first, we can become an expert. So earning your master's will give you a more in-depth understanding of your speciality and career focus. Uh, and the second point is we can get a head start in our career. So some people who earn their master's will experience the leapfrog effort effect so if we are going into one organization for a job if we have completed the undergraduate degree maybe we might fall into a trainee level program if suppose if i am completed the master's program if i am going for that uh, organization i can go a two step forward instead of trainee i can land into a job of like uh, associate or a senior associate so i can uh, step into a two step uh, in, in the ladder i will be into a two step ahead so that is the main benefit i could say the benefits of a master's program and get first hand experience. So graduate school immerse you further into your specific industry. So without the need of fulfilled general education requirements, you can focus solely on your field of study. I would say if we are doing an undergraduate, undergraduate is must. So if we are doing an undergraduate in undergraduate program, we will be covering the a high end level of all the papers. But if we enter into a master's program, I would say we can thoroughly concentrate on the particular paper and we can be well versed on that paper. So that is the third key point. I would definitely see the benefits of a master's program. And last but not the least, obviously, if we have more money, then we have more 
freedom and uh, i would say master's degree is I, I we can see the master's degree in other perspective it is like an investment in your financial future so an employee who has earned a master degree typically they earns over 10000 more per year 10000 dollars for more per year than who graduated with a bachelor's so these are all the four key points i would say the benefits of a master's program and i would like to go through the requirements to study of ms in usa uh, so to study in usa there are few requirements the first basic requirement is we have to complete the 3 to 4 years of bachelor's degree and we need to get a gpa grade of like uh, 65 to 70 percentage and in us they would say like gpa of 3 and we we need to complete some of the test to do us masters in usa the first test the basic test we need to complete is ielts and the second one is gre and then we need to provide these letters i will show you what are all these in the upcoming slides okay so how to apply for the universities in us uh, not only us like i would say like uh, masters doing in everywhere it's it's very very beneficial so i am going to say how to apply for the universities in us as i did my masters in us so i'm going to cover all those stuff here so first we need to choose the university so the first step while applying for ms in the us is to make a list of universities which after the candidate's choice of program and uh, the student has to prepare for the masters program like if they want to fall into a masters program they have to start preparing a 15 months prior to the admission so this is the very basic step when we go for masters in us not only in us us in every country i would say and we need to check deadlines so we need to check every uh, organization deadline uh, every university deadline for the particular paper and we need to apply to the university so this is the second basic point we need to do and third is eligibility so if we want to do a masters there is a eligibility criteria we have uh, we have to must uh, i'm so sorry we must have 16 years of education so besides like if suppose if a person wants to do a masters in us and if a person is studying in india uh, the graduate certificate would be in the percentage wise so they need to change the transcripts uh, to a us equivalent transcripts that can be done by wes so that is the world education services so they will be like converting our indian mark to an us transcript mark so this is a third category i would say and a student has to appear for these exams if they want to do masters in us so if suppose a student wants to do a masters in computer science or embed systems or wireless communications so on and so on so on so they have to complete gre and if a person wants to do an mba they have to complete gmat exam this toefl and ielts this both exam is for the english proficiency so everyone has to complete this two exams and the mcat exam is for the medical college students and lsat is for the law school admission test and how to apply so as i said earlier so we need to check for the deadline and we can apply by post also we can apply by mail if university says uh, okay for apply by mail and okay so arrange application package a student has to arrange these kind of package before the before they send the documents to the university but first is the statement of purpose so they should write the statement of purpose what is their goal and what makes them special and the letter of recommendation so unlike the sop the letter of recommendation is an independent assessment of the candidate's potential so it is advisable to have professors or employers to write recommendation letter for the candidate and they can also add their resume and academic transcripts and they will be getting the admission letter within 2 weeks and the key points is once they enter into us like they need to check about these uh, steps so it is it is based basically a credit system so in us what they will say is it is a credit system so if we have 30 credits we are uh, we are a masters degree holder and the second point is there are so many universities they will be providing the scholarship that program is called graduate assistant program and a person wants to choose a program in us they have to check for the stem course stem is nothing but like science technology engineering and maths this all should include so if there is a stem course we have so much benefits in us and they have to check for the semester model whether the model is a trimester model or a semester model if it is going to be the semester model it is going to be for like for 
six months. If it is going to be the trimester model, then it is going to be like for three months. And CPT and OPT is all about the visa. It's about the work uh, work uh, visa. So CPT while doing their master's program, they will be having the CPT so they can work 20 hours per week. And OPT is after completing the master's, um, a student can work for like full time, which is 40 hours per week. And here comes the STEM course. So if a person is doing a STEM course, they will be getting a work visa of like three years. So this is the US uh, doing you master's in US. And the last, yeah. So thank you. So this is a presentation, all I have it for today. Mm. And I would really like to thank uh, Dr. Balakrishnan sir and Sri Krishna College of Engineering and Technology for this wonderful opportunity. Could you be able to hear me? Thank you, ma'am. It was indeed a thought-provoking session as we expected. Short and sweet, I should say. And uh, thank you so much for taking your time. And in case if our students are coming up with their questions, for sure we'll contact you and hope you will enlighten them with your knowledge. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.